It's time for another player review, and in this one today, we're going to try out Laborde, the 87 rated player of the month card. It has to be said, just off face value, the card actually does look quite good just by looking at the card stats. I'm a bit worried we might see some hit and miss in game stats, but we'll get to that in a few moments. But just on face value, as I say, this card looks good, and it's only going to cost you an 84 rated squad with an inform and, of course, a league on player. So he's not too expensive either. Looking forward to trying this card out today, and hopefully, you know, it's just a good attacking option for the league gun. But I think we all know that um, the league gun attacking options are already pretty stacked, so this card is going to have to be really good for it to, you know, compare to them. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. Okay, so this is the team he's going to feature in. I might switch to a 4 one 2 one 2 in game, but for now we're going to kick things off in the 4 4 2 Here is the card then, and uh, probably will do this in game as well. But I'll start on like this just to make sure Dembele is on full chem. Anyway, left footed, 3 star skills, 4 star weak foot, not too bad. High, high wear crits as well, and uh, a couple of traits on him. In regards to the in-game stats, as expected, despite the high dribbling stat, his agility isn't too high. And um, he's not freakishly tall, so we'll see how he feels on the ball in game. But like from a technical point of view, his shooting looks good with 88 finishing, 86 shot power and 90 composure. The passing for a striker looks alright with the 89 shot passing rating. Also 84 crossing, not too bad either. Um, the dribbling, aside from the agility and balance, looks good with uh, the high ball control, high composure and uh, good in-game dribbling rating. But the balance and agility are obviously letdowns, or at least appear to be. But uh, the physicals are pretty crazy on this guy. Good stamina, so should last the full 90 with ease. Very good jumping, perfect heading accuracy and uh, obviously good strength as well. So... Yeah, it's going to be an interesting card. I can already tell this card's either going to be really good or just really meh. But um, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be really good because, as I say, it's got a plenty of good attributes on it. So for chem styles, I think ultimately you have two choices, although basic, as always, isn't a terrible one at this stage of the game. I think if you're worried about the dribbling, you're going to put an engine on him, and if you're not too worried about the dribbling, you're going to put Hunter on him to maximise his pace and make his shooting pretty damn incredible. And you do actually get some really good ratings on this guy with certain chem styles. He's a 94 rated striker with a dead eye and a finisher, which... To be fair, finisher is also a very good option for him. You get the dribbling boost and you make his finishing and shooting in general pretty insane. Same can be said for Maxman and yeah, the card just looks good. But will it perform that well in game? Well, I guess we're about to find out. I'm going to put engine on him because I'm worried about the dribbling. But if you would use a different chem style, let me know what in the comments. Okay, interesting team for game number one. He's got a rule breakers corner at right back. Didn't expect that. I'm going to presume he just picked him up lately. In uh, the party bag pack. There we go. Benzema. Oh, the body's first touch is an extremely heavy one. That's unfortunate. I was holding sprint, but I still didn't think the touch would be that bad. Come on. Goes long with the through ball. The body. Oh, what a. He tried to control it with his shoulder. Come on. Into the body. Here we go. Chance now. Show them physicals. Hold your man off. Finds Benzema. Oh, I just couldn't get the bounce. Come on. Into the body. He's going to get round his man. Get space for the Frenchman who takes off the shot and it's not a bad effort. Drops to Dembele who scores. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. Nice. Oh, great goal. Notice the focus there. I was fully focused on keeping the ball with this guy. He's not the most agile of movers, I think you can tell. But um, still, good ball control. Nice quick feet there. And uh, a good strike as well to get it past the keeper. Dembele into the box. Oh, we were there, but we just didn't get a clean connection. Nice. Good bit of hold up play. Maybe a bit too much on a long ball. Is there? Kerman took his sweet time, but he did actually keep it in in the end. Oh, we actually flicked someone. Gone for the shot. Oh, we've hit the bar again. Unlucky. Benzema. Laborde, chance to go across goal. And he's hit the bar again. Come on. Oh, wow. Three times. Three times we've hit the woodwork with me in that first half. Pretty incredible, that. But um, anyway, 2-1 up at the break. We are going to make changes in the second half. Our shot accuracy has taken a battering because of those shots not being on target, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, at least with one of them, it deflected and uh, we got a rebound. 
40 second 45 we'll switch to the 4 one 2, one, two. we'll put him on the uh, right side as well so we can go for some whipped in finesse shots and uh, yeah let's see how we get on good work good work oh what a save that is is he the power on that shot as well come on look here chance for the border inside the box oh shoved off the ball there by Varane yeah the link up brings Kerman into play Kerman finds the border gets around his man puts it on the inside oh just couldn't find his man nice oh he's megged his he's megged the defender and put the ball in the back of the net that's a really nice goal from the Frenchman there love to see the nutmeg as well wasn't intentional wasn't planned but looks cool well, that game's ended in a 4-4 draw, and I need to stop using Dudek. I need to stop using Dudek. Three of his goals were rebounds off a goalkeeper save, which is annoying. But anyway, how did Laborde do? Um, decent, to be fair. Um, as expected, not particularly too agile on the ball, but um, got some goals and was involved in the build-up to some others as well. So, yeah, not too bad. We go again, and this time we're up against icon George Best and icon Roy Keane. Oh, nice first time pass into Benzema. Has he got the pace to get through here, though? Yes, he has. Gets the shot away as well, but sadly, not enough on it. Nice first time ball. Here's a good bit of link up now. Angle's tight, but you know what? We're going to go for it. And we force a save out the keeper. I saw that run of Kerman. I saw. Oh, that's a great ball. What a ball from the border. What a ball. What an assist. What a run from Kingsley Kerman. And what a pass from the player of the month. Fantastic ball. And, oh, what a ball from Dembele and tidy finish from Laborde. Love to see that great attacking movement from the whole side. Falls in. Laborde's at the back stick and oh, Mendy just got enough on it. And there's half time. 2 0 up at the break. Two very nice goal contributions from the main man, too. As you can see, it's another game where we've actually defended very, very well. So hopefully we can keep that up in the second half. Going to make the same changes we made in the previous match. Switch to the 4-1-2-1-2 and put this guy over on the right. Nice turn. Good shot. Oh, he's hit the post again, but this time we get the goal. But my, where does he hit the post and bar a lot. And there's full time. Nice 4-2 victory in that one. We did bottle a two-goal lead and go to 2-2, but we brought it back, and that's what matters. You definitely could say that that outing was a roaring success with him being involved in all the goals. One of the goals, though, does have to be said, was from kickoff. It, the assist, anyway, for Benzema's goal, so he didn't really do too much from that. But, um, yeah, for the rest of the game, he was, he was pretty good. It is just kind of amusing, though, how much he has hit the person me in this video. Right then, a few games out the way, what did I make of this player of the month, Laborde? Is it Laborde or Laborde? I guess it's a bit too late now. Let me know in the comments if I've been getting his name wrong. Um, I'll say straight away, there is a lot to like about this card and it is a good usable item, but I'll also say straight away, it's not a meta card. I can understand why some people won't enjoy this item, but um, I think some people will actually get something from this card. Anyway, what did we like? What is there to like about this card? Um, the shot power is insane. Um, he's only got 86 shot power on his uh, stats page, but honestly, in-game, it felt 99. Inside the box, he's just so lethal with those cross-goal shots. And uh, from distance, he just hits the ball so hard. Like, his, his uh, accuracy from distance isn't amazing, but he just pings the ball. He really, really does. So, yeah, left-footed shot power is absolutely nuts. And his shooting, to be fair, in general, is quite good. It's not super clinical. As you saw, we struck the bar and post a lot, but it's, it's still decent. Like, you'll score goals with this card, that is for sure. Off his left foot, though, not off his right foot. His right foot is super inconsistent, and, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a shame, but that's to be expected. Um, positionally, he's good when you get him running forward, but his base positioning, I would say, is not great, and that's due to his work rate, so if you're going to use him, stay forward instruction is advised, otherwise he will be all over the place. But his actual run making when you get him going forward is quite good, and you saw that in the footage. Also in the footage, you saw some good link-up play too, you saw some good passing in general, whether it was a short pass or a long pass, this guy was able to distribute really, really nicely, and you know what, you put a passing heavy chem style on this guy, and... He actually wouldn't be a bad cam option. Like, there's already better league and cam options available. Like, Awa came out yesterday who's better. But this guy, if you've got him untradeable, then, you know, he could do a job there if you need someone to fill in a role. Uh, Dribbling-wise now, this is where the card was super hit and miss for me. Like, I won't lie, on some occasions, he actually felt really, really good on the ball. 
but he didn't always feel like that. There were some occasions where he felt super heavy and not responsive, so yeah, the dribbling, although it isn't as bad as I thought it would be, it is pretty inconsistent, and that is a bit of a shame, and that obviously is one of the things that does hold this card back. Finally, the physicals, how were they? Um, good, showed some good strength in some occasions. It's, it's pretty much the same old story with a lot of cards, like... Up against like normal defenders, he's going to be fine, he's going to do well, he's going to battle. But up against the top tier ones, they are going to have the ability to uh, knock him off the ball. But anyway, the overall verdict on this card is it's a good usable item, not super meta. But I do think some people could get something out of this card. And with it coming in at what, like like 40k? Let me just pull him up on footbin, let me just double check. He is, yeah, about 40k. Like, he's not bad value, he really isn't, and so uh, the price value for money is fine. It's not brilliant by any means, but uh, it, it's certainly not, you know, anywhere near a terrible price. Who would I use him over? Now, that is the question, because it goes without saying, you won't use this card over an Mbappe, you definitely won't use it over that brand new Neymar, you won't use it over any of the special Ben Yedders, you won't use it over the winter wildcard Jonathan David, so... Yeah, like he's got a lot of competition essentially, and there's not many cards that you would use him over. I mean, I'd use him over obviously all the non informed striker cards in League Gun, aside from obviously Mbappe. So, yeah, he's probably like what the sixth or seventh best League Gun striker. And then, in terms of like French strikers, you've obviously got a bunch of them from the League Gun, and then you've got some icons as well. So, yeah, he's not going to be at the top of anyone's list. So, yeah, it's probably one for people who like to collect cards and just like first owner teams. But yeah, it's, it's a usable card, as I say, just not one that you definitely need to have in your team. I can't see this guy making appearances in Weekend League, uh, to be honest. But uh, for those of you who are a fan of the player, fan of the team he plays for, go for it and I hope you enjoy him. But as I say, nice card, usable, not super meta. And because of that, I don't think this card will be too popular. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the item. I had fun using him, uh, which is obviously the main thing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.